This is a Jeppesen uh, software updating application you use to download the nav data and the chart. Here, you can right click properties. This shows you the effective dates of the cycles. So, from there, you can start the download and either download it directly to the chip, to a chip SD chip. And a computer or you can download to the hard drive. In this case, uh, since it's the chart, we're going to download it only to the hard drive. That way we not, when I go to the plane I can update the lower right MFD chip with this update. Now the, the chart data has been successfully downloaded to the hard drive. I'm going to do the nav data. I have my SD chip. So I'm going to download the nav data to a blank um, SD chip. Now it is uh, downloaded to the SD chip, and now I'm ready to head to the airport. I'm going to leave my laptop turned on so I can just take the chip out of the lower right MFD and program the chart data directly to the lower MFD chip. Okay, so I'm at the airport and I have the lower right chip out of the MFD, and I'm going to update the chart. So I've inserted that chip. I'm going to hit the start. And I'm going to pick the drive for the chip. And it will program the uh, charts. Okay, we are back in the plane. I have the charts downloaded to my lower um, MFD chip. Upper MFD chip is just for data logging. I'll take it out. Go ahead and put the nav data chip I have in there. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do that PFD first. So I'm going to put it in the PFD. Turn on back. Wait for it to initialize. It'll come up and say, do you want to update the database? And you hit... Yes. It's going to ask if you want to update the active, and you hit yes, confirming the cycles is greater than the previous one. Then it will update. Any key. Okay, power it down, turn back one off. We're going to take the chip out of the, the navigated update chip out of the PFD, put it in the MFD upper slot. Same thing, bat one on. Wait for it to boot up. It'll ask if you want to update the standby database. Hit yes. It'll update. Once again, do you want to update the active? Hit yes. Now it's booting up on the MFD. We're going to let it boot up and then we're going to go in and verify that everything was synced up properly. Okay, we're going to scroll over to the aux page. I'm going to go to the aux system status. 
enter button. We're going to scroll over here, hit, actually hit the MFD database. Scroll down, it's showing that the, there's a nav data is updated. It's active from the 15th of October till now to the 12th of November. Standby, same thing. Safe taxi, which I did update, is good till December 10th. Terrain, is, I just updated it as well. Obstacle, I updated it as well. And I just updated the airport AOP directory as well. There's our charts, which showing it's um, going to expire on October 26th, which will need to be updated again on the 22nd. So everything looks good there. Let's come back over here to the PFD and make sure everything looks good. There's no error message, no crosstalk uh, errors. So we are all set and everything's working. So that's how we do it. And also don't forget to take the nav data chip out and then put the data logging chip back in upper right MFD. And that's all we have to do.